Hello everyone, welcome back to WV Blacksmithing. Here's my wonderful face. Mm. Today is a hundred subscriber giveaway. Not going to weigh my anvils, sadly. But I am giving away some other stuff. Alex Hanneman won. He has his own YouTube channel. First thing I'm going to give him is this piece of coal. So he can light his forge and run it for quite a long time. This will this will burn his whole forge for quite a while, but anyways. I also got a horseshoe. You know, just an old regular kind of small horseshoe. Piece of file, about the biggest piece that'll or not a file, a rasp. About the biggest piece that'll fit in the box. It's not too spectacular, it's about three sixteenths of an inch. Or no. Yeah, about, about three sixteenths of an inch thick. I use these a lot, they're oil hardening. Two of my railroad spike knot or railroad spikes, I mean. I have a lot of them, so I figured, you know, whatever. One railroad spike knife that I made. I do a lot of these just for a scope of how many of those I get rid of. Um, I had two five gallon bucket full of them about a year and a half ago. And now I have, I, I ran out of those ones so I had to buy more. And about a quarter of those are gone. I bought them Novemberus probably. November was about when I bought them. But, you know, I make a lot of them. I just finished up this one and I remembered I have 100 subs now. So I figured I'd give this away. This other stuff I decided afterwards after I figured out it was Alex Hanneman who was my 100th subscriber. So... Less spectacular items are coming now. Five whole WB Blacksmithing business cards. They're double, they're double sided, but no, anyways. An amazing receipt, like I send out with all my stuff. A manifesto of everything that's in there. My prototype pamphlet. I have a few more of them printed out now. So basically, here's that. I was going to get them on Vista Print, but they're 60 bucks for 100 of them. So I was like, no way. So I've got this. Pictures of some of my stuff on the back. That's going. The box itself, truly amazing. This is probably the best part. The shipping label, I'm not going to show you the front. That would be a bad idea. Maybe. My address isn't really a secret, but his it probably is. But here's the stuff that I'm sending him. So we've got coal, horseshoe, peak heart of a rasp, this, that, this, these, those, and that. And he's got some of my shop floor on a piece of paper now so it's really truly an honor I suppose <laughs> not really I'm just kidding by the way anyways this is the giveaway for 100 subs in all honesty he might not have been my exact 100 subscriber but everybody else that subscribed uh, after him had it hidden and YouTube only shows me the subscribers that share their subscriptions, so he was the most recent, and I guess he gets this stuff. So, you know, check him out. I'll try to have the link to his channel in the, subs or in the description. Hopefully he does some neat stuff with this that I'm sending him. Especially this. This is like the best and most useful thing. 
piece of the cord that I used. But hopefully he likes it. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I'll do a subscriber giveaway. Most likely every 100 subscribers. That makes sense to me. And if you want to be eligible for the giveaways, you have to make your subscriptions visible so I can see them. I'm sorry if whoever was the actual 100 subscriber isn't getting this. But I don't know if you subscribed if you don't make your subscription visible. So please do that if you want to be eligible for this stuff. Um, you know, I'll be oiling the railroad spike knife. But, you know, I'm going to go get the stuff to package this. And I'm going to oil the knife. And I'll show you how I package my stuff. So I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I got my stuff. It was probably only a couple seconds for you. I use this white tissue paper stuff. Not toilet paper or anything. It's like kind of glossy or something. But I'll just put that back here on my coal box. I have this rag for oiling stuff and this. But first of all, I'll get one of these pieces and fold it up and put it in the bottom of the box. Take the bottom. Hopefully all this stuff fits in here all right. If any of you guys are like interested in visiting my shop, I'm in kind of Northern Pennsylvania near the elk. Well, pretty much with the elk. And all you gotta do is message me on Facebook or call or something and ask. I like to have visitors here. But I've only had a few. So I just oil it. Or depending on what it is, some of it doesn't need oiled, like if it has paint on it or something. I, I just use this gun oil. Like, unless it's like some kind of kitchen or food knife that I make, then I do not use gun oil because that'd be a bad idea. I used to use wax, like car wax, and that would be even worse. So I stopped using that. Because I don't really think this would hurt you. It doesn't taste very good. Uh, don't ask me how I know that. I never tasted it at all. But I just wrap it up. I put it like that and just roll it and roll it and I fold the ends over make sure the, the tip is pretty good and covered up with the ball like that and I just put the knife in there and after the first thing I stuff the cards and the receipt down there be in and alongside of it usually try to surround the sides with stuff like this like cards and stuff you know it's a good thing to be able to have people all over the country having your cards and then they can give them to their relatives and stuff so I usually send a few at least I'm gonna fold the manifesto There we go. Let's get it up there like that. And then I'm gonna wrap the other stuff too. So, not too here. I was just gonna send the spike, then I figured out, or the spike knife, but then I figured out another blacksmith's getting this and I decided that something that he can't really forge on isn't good enough or isn't enough kind of boring get something you can't do anything with I guess really or even hang it up or use it 
Now, I don't usually send raw material stuff like this, like I never have before. But, you know, figured I'd send them some. I'd send them some stuff that actually is exciting. And he's actually older than me. Probably can't really tell, but you know, he is about a year and a half or so. Probably, I don't know exactly to be honest. Hopefully, this horseshoe fits in here. All right, I kind of have to stuff it in there somehow. I put duct tape around this anyways to keep it stronger like this and then I put some the other way. And now the most important part, I got this, you don't want to lose this in the mail. So there we go, it's the best important part. As tight as this box is, it might actually turn up being or end up being a diamond by the time it gets there. So then I'll just do like this. These boxes specifically have the little tape thing. It doesn't really work very well, but you know, that's besides the point. Holds it on long enough for me to get duct tape on it. So there we go. I'm gonna put a bit more than normal around here. That's up in my room, so I'll be right back again. All right, I'm back. I got the duct tape. I brought my shop dog down, too. I'll have to show you guys her again. I showed her in a, a video or two ago, but, you know, not many people I don't think seen that one. So yeah, I'm just putting a little bit more than normal around here. He's not going to have fun opening this. If only he had a good railroad spike knife to open it. Maybe in the future. Don't want it to get lost. And all you really got to do is cut it right here, and then you can open it easily. So hopefully, he watches this till the end. Till he get it opened easily. You got to reverse engineer something like this to get it open. Yeah, usually I don't package this stuff down here, but, you know, I don't do videos in the house. Hey, you know what? I think it's a good idea. You gotta make them work a little bit. Oh, come on, you gotta, gotta understand, guys. There you go. This is how you know. That this stuff isn't getting out. Just had to go through customs, say Canada or something. I put even more on. Just let me ship my dangerous steel and iron objects in peace. For real. You know. Might be a bit harder to get open now. So, there it goes. It's pretty dang heavy, actually. It's probably about eight pounds or so. Maybe even a little bit more, but there's my giveaway. Oh, aim you up a bit. 
show you my shop dog. Here she is. She's nice. She doesn't like to be in the shop. She doesn't like it at all. No, see, she just said no. She hates it. But there she goes. She likes to run around, though. But here's the giveaway. Congratulations, Alex. So, you know. Make sure if you're seeing this video, you subscribe. And you could have a chance to win. Or, I, I guess, I guess win is the best term that I have. Some stuff like this. And I'll message you, ask you if you want it. And you'll be fine. I don't really care about my address. As long as you ask before you come here. And it wouldn't be a good idea to steal from here. Or try to, at least. It's about as far as you'd get. But, you know, that besides the point. I don't think many of you guys... Or any of you guys would try to steal from me. It's hard to find this anyways on it, even with a GPS. The only way you'd be able to find this place is if you ask some of the locals, like down at a restaurant or something. And then you have given me an alibi. Not a good idea. But, I hope you like it. I hope to see your unboxing video. You guys get to see my stomach. That's that's from a burn. Sometimes I light myself on fire and stuff. I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, it doesn't hurt or anything. If you catch it quickly. And put it out. But, see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe and make sure your subscriptions are visible. If you want to be eligible for this stuff. Every hundred subscribers, get people you know and that you think deserve this stuff to subscribe and they'll always have a chance. I mean, sometimes I might even start doing some random giveaways for subscribers. Try to have new stuff in the boxes. Just right now, all the stuff that I have is on eBay and stuff like that. Or sold. So. See you guys next time. Please subscribe. I see still 62.5% of my views. Are non-subscribed people. So. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And the bell icon. So you can. Be eligible for stuff like this. Or see new cool stuff. That I'm up to. Even though there hasn't been much cool stuff lately. There should be pretty soon, because lately I've just been working on getting money to do cool stuff. So. Hey, little girl. What are you doing in there? She thinks it's cool with my forge. She likes to go in there. Oh, I know. The video needs to end. I know, little girl. It has to stop. I need to stop talking. I know. You're tired of the video. She wants the video to stop so she can go inside, even though she's going to have a nice awakening when she realizes she has to stay out here for a while with me after dinner. See you guys next time. At WB Blacksmithing. Finally seeing my face. Bye.